Hi, AT from CNC at Home. As many of you know, I do like burning tiles. It's been something that I've done many videos on. Um, I've really kind of pushed the limits of, of what I can do by doing multi layers of colors, and it's been fun. Uh, another thing that I like is the moon. I've been, uh, been a fan of the moon since I can way back. A uh, fan of the Apollo program, the first man landing on the moon. I got to see that live on TV back when I was a kid. And so I wanted to do a moon tile. I did the sun with the multicolor uh, yellows and oranges and reds, and that turned out pretty nice. So let's do the moon. So here's what I did. I had a green tile. I did this. turned out pretty well, but it doesn't look natural. The moon isn't green. It never really is green. The moon is gray. It's gray, gray, gray. Gray highlights, gray shadows. Everything is gray about it. I tried using the grayscale within light burn, and here's my first result. Not so good. Made some setting changes. Got this. Also not so good. Very black and white, even though I was trying to do grayscale. So I abandoned doing grayscale, went back to Jarvis dithering like I did uh, with all the other tiles um, and the green one. And then this was the result. Not bad, but too washed out. Still not gray enough. It's just very black and white. So I lowered the power setting. So I went from 50% power at 4,000 millimeters per minute down to 35% power. Here's the results on that one too much the other direction. Now it's black. The moon is just black with a little bit of white and that's, that's not working for me. So brought the power up to 45% still at 4,000 millimeters per minute and that turned out pretty well. It still looks very black and white and the moon is gray and in my mind that green tile turned out better than this one. So I was thinking well I should just go get some blue paint. Blue moon would look nice. And then it dawned on me, you know, the moon is gray. It's not blue, it's gray. It does kind of a blue hint to it sometimes, sometimes a red hint, but it is gray. Why don't I use my gray paint? I already have gray paint. So I did, I prepped up some tiles. Let's take a look at that real quick. I painted them gray, put black on top of it, and then we're gonna stick them on the laser and see how that turns out. Now that the tiles are all prepped and ready, I'm going to put on a layer of summer squash. This is my yellow paint. This is not for the moon, but this is just to test this paint. I had some issues with the paint bubbling and cracking when I put the fluorescent orange on top of it. So I'm going to do an experiment later with this. So I'm just putting down a layer of yellow and then I'll let two of them dry for 24 hours and then I'll put some orange on these others right away. Here's the gray paint that I'm going to put down as my first layer on the moon tiles. Just get a nice even coat across there, make sure I've got everything covered. I did notice something weird on this tile. The paint did not adhere. There's a dimple. And so I'm assuming either some lacquer thinner was still in there or it's just the dimple isn't taking the paint. It'll end up looking like a crater. Here's the fluorescent orange. I'm going to put this on two of the tiles. The other two I'm going to just let dry for a couple days before I do anything. It was after the application of the orange paint that I noticed the cracking in the, in the paint itself. Um, and uh, people at Rust-Oleum said it was due to the wrong drying time. And I let it dry appropriately. So this time I'm going to just let it dry for about five minutes and then I'll put another coat on. Unfortunately, I could see the cracking already happening. So this was gonna be a failure. I cleaned the paint off those tiles and I'm just gonna coat them in the summer squash. Then I'll have four tiles that I let dry for at least two days before I coat them with the fluorescent orange again. Now I'm going to take my gloss black and coat the gray tiles for my moon pictures that I'm going to try and do. The spot on that leftmost tile is still there. Like I said, it'll look like a crater when we're all done.
Now the tiles in the laser, I'm just doing a quick border to make sure it's squared up properly and then we'll start the burn. I ended up burning three test burns on this one. I used the tile with the kind of extra crater in it as my first burn and it turned out really nicely. So I took a nicer tile, did the burn and for some reason it turned out much lighter. So I did a third burn that turned out just as well as this one. As soon as this burn is done, we'll take a closer look at those three. In the background, listened, uh, we'll just listen to the uh, audio from the first man landing on the moon back from 1969. I hope you enjoyed that little replay of events from 1969 that uh, for me was a once in a lifetime experience. I don't think that uh, as a planet will do anything in my life anywhere as close to that achievement if we think back to the technology they had, what they actually accomplished. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, hit the like button. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button and uh, get the bell on. Click that and you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Thank you and enjoy your CNC at Home projects.